What's happening? What's going on? What's shaking? This is Andy coming to you again from here at my Daily Funk Club headquarters. Today's a beautiful day. I'm in the middle of a very busy week. I've got five shows this week. I've got two shows today. I wanted to make a demo. It's really important. This is a special video because I just, this instrument um, is, is, is new here to me. And it has a very special story that I want to tell you about. Um, back in 1988, I was a young musician, bassist, and um, around, actually, it was actually around 1985 when I first met George, the man whose bass this was for the last 30 years. Um, bass player, fantastic bass player, virtuoso bass player by the name of George Sesson in Rochester, New York. He's most famous for his work with the um, kind of jazz group called Cabo Frio. They kind of pioneered this. Uh, kind of pop jazz uh, realm that maybe kind of eventually became the smooth jazz thing. But they were hip, um, way more hip than a lot of the smooth jazz is. Anyways, um, he was my teacher, my friend, my hero, the guy that I looked up to the most, very kind to me as a young player, very nurturing, took me under his wing, taught me a lot. He bought this bass in 1988, brand new, from Roger Sadowski in New York City. And it was the first Sadowski bass that I had ever seen in person or heard um, and I remember seeing it, I was about 17, eight, no, I was about 18 years old at the time when he got this. And, uh, I just remember seeing it going, oh my God, that's the coolest bass ever, you know, at that time to me that it was like the, um, the Holy Grail. And, um, so fast forward 30 years and, uh, this instrument, he, um, passed it on to me. He's now retired retired from playing and um, he just uh, you know passed this instrument to me and um, he put a really nice inscription on the back of it it says to Andy I've seen your work on our craft my flame is almost out so I pass this torch on to you keep playing brother Andy George Sesum so, it's incredibly um, meaningful. Um, it's just a, an amazing, um, you know, gesture. I'm completely honored to have this instrument. Um, it's a great instrument. It's a fantastic instrument. But um, the fact that it was George's bass and um, he passed it to me, you know, takes it to, to a level that's just, um, you know, absolutely touching and um, um, so let's hear what it sounds like okay it's uh, it has um, we'll talk about the specs a little bit it has a maple neck really really pretty rosewood fingerboard with the clay inlays that have aged really nicely um, it's a it's a like a light swamp ash body simply a lightweight but it's ash it has Sadowski pickups in it. They do say Sadowski on them. Shaler, roller style bridge, old school. And it has um, the old school Bartolini boost only two band preamp in it. Right now I have both pickups on and both EQ controls are completely turned off. It also has an active passive switch. <laughs> And 
just the back pickup. So that was with no EQ controls even boosted at all. You know, it's a boost only, like I said. And then you can go to the Mega Sadowski Jazz Bass on Steroids Classic Sadowski Sound, you know. Tons of really, really nice, um, friendly bass and treble from the active control. And you don't need much, man. It's, it's a, this preamp is a beast. Great chubby jazz bass sound. story of this cool Sadowski jazz bass built in 1988. It does also have the hip shot drop D extend on that's original. Everything's original on it. Um, I have no intention to change anything, although I might get some of Roger's, you know, modern, the, the black and white plastic knobs, because I just love those. Um, I love those knobs, and, you know, I might put some of those on there. But, uh, wow, what a cool instrument. It is uh, stamped with uh, the number 622 on the headstock. Whatever that means, I don't know. But uh, maybe that means it's the 622nd Sadowski bass. I will have to ask Roger about that. But um, thank you to Roger. You know, we're friends. And I do some work with, with Roger, you know, with the Daily Funk Club because I have two of his drop-in preamps and two of my favorite basses. And then I have the two uh, outboard preamps that I use. One of them is, in, is my main go-to studio preamp. So I'm affiliated and friends with Roger Sadowski, and now I have a Sadowski bass. So all is perfect in the universe. And as I said before, you know, my, situa my, my relationship, my friendship with my mentor, George Sessom, um, you know, I'm just honored to have this instrument and uh, I'll cherish it forever. So thank you, George. And, um, Thanks a lot, and uh, you know I hope I'll be able to continue to you know make you proud, and um, that's uh, you know I don't know what else I could really uh, how how I could really express how much gratitude I have, but believe that it comes straight from the heart. Thank you. Thanks for everybody for watching this video. Thanks for watching all the videos. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>